Um, Adam McIntyre got upset. Uh, the guy, the guy who wrote that Vanity Fair article on yeah. his Instagram, he took like a screenshot of like the announcement of the article, and yeah. he tagged Adam McIntyre in it. Oh, right? okay. So okay. Adam got mad and took a screenshot, put it up there, and he also linked the guy's Instagram and told people, go ask him why he didn't even talk to me. Yes. Yeah, oh, I, know. I didn't know that part. That. Yeah. I, yeah, that ain't cool. Yeah. That's literally the guiding. Like, yes. telling people to go somewhere to do something. Yeah. And he's saying that he didn't do that. And it's like, you did. Okay, well, <laughs> you he, he double down on it. All right, well, here's the thing. Um, and here is where it, I don't think it's right. Obviously, I don't think it's right. I made two tweets about it. Um, I yeah. also DM'd Adam and his mom. And they were really cool and, and respectful. I mean, nobody's gotten in an argument or anything. Um, but, <sighs> hmm. Uh, people are encouraging him that he did nothing wrong. And I'm talking about other, um, and I'm talking about some other, uh, content creators who are saying, you know, he didn't do anything wrong. And all I got to say is, okay, well, that's how y'all do things over there. And that's not right because you don't like it if it's done to you, you know, now granted, the guy did a horrible, oh my God, that article was so bad. It was, yeah, it was abs- bad, but. Yeah, it was bad, but to do that, no. You go at it through Vanity Fair, you know what I mean? Like, he needs to yeah. be held responsible yeah. the way he wrote that. 100%. He needs to be held yeah. responsible the way he wrote that. But you don't go brigading. Now, at the same time, Homeboy needs to understand the author. He needs to understand you're a public figure now. You might want to have private Instagrams and Facebooks and stuff like that just for your family and your family pictures. Yeah. Yeah, that's but it true. It didn't seem like when you're looking at the profile before it was um, privated, it didn't seem like like a private Instagram because he was um, like uploading stuff about Vanity Fair. Yes. And before that, he actually had pictures of like um, what I saw was, was Adam in live stream and stuff like that as well. Right. Like, right. So, so like... I was I was <laughs> under the impression that it was like a personal um instagram no he used it for business he absolutely yeah. used it for business but at the same time you don't go sending people to brigade yeah, yeah. because that's, that's proving the point right of of them like um uh using their fans fans to do stuff and blah 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 because that's what he was saying inside the the article and you know you it's basically like showing him that you are doing that stuff yeah yeah but, yeah it don't look good yeah Because you know, you go send your fans to, um, you go send your fans to go ask a question and you know the crazy ones are going to go over there and do stupid shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like you just shouldn't direct a mass of people to do anything towards one person ever. I I agree. I agree. Now, if you just so happen to get in a fight with them and people jump in, okay, that's not your fault because you didn't call for people to jump in. Okay? Yeah, exactly. But you don't, literally, you don't direct them to that. And I'm mm-hmm. kind of disappointed now, I and, and and I do mean this when I say this, Adam is 20, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I could see myself doing the same damn thing at 20 years old because I was very reactionary at 20 years old. Oh, yeah. And I know he's over all this shit, you know? Um, mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean that it's not wrong because it is wrong. Yeah. So that's the only thing I, I really want to say about that. Cause I'm 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 really disappointed, and and not just at Adam, I'm disappointed at the people hyping him up to do it. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna name any names, but I I think Eva knows who I'm talking about. So. Oh, so that's what Jessica Pizzle was getting. I I saw like a little bit. I didn't know what was going on. A little bit uh, of Jessica Pizzle calling him out. Yeah. Or yeah getting into like, it with him for a second. I guess yeah. that's what Adam. that was. Yeah, Adam did quote tweet her and and mm-hmm. doubled down on sending people. Yeah, I hadn't been following it. I I had just seen like like little tiny bits and pieces on my feed. So I was like, well, <laughs> what well, is happening? Yeah, well, I didn't know. my whole point was when I did my tweet, I'm like, I'm not arguing about this with anybody. Y'all can go and cope, see them all underneath my tweet all you want. I don't care. I- I've been fighting for Adam this whole damn time, but I cannot stand by y'all going and brigading that man's Instagram. Yeah. yeah, I can't stand by that. 
And I'm not going to. And if you want to fight, fight with your mama. Fight with your daddy. Fight with your auntie. Fight with somebody else. You ain't fighting with me. Because I said what I said. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all I got Fair to say enough. about that right now. Because I'm, I'm irritated and I'm sick. And I just don't have the energy for that shit. So. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Makes sense, honestly. <laughs> Damn it. I got no sleep over that. I was literally about to go to bed before midnight last night. Before midnight. I saw. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I got woken up. Then Matt messaged me about the Adam stuff. And I'm like, oh, God, what? And then I saw the other stuff. And I'm like, ugh. And then I was up. And then Leon talked me into um, going live. So that's what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that worked out. All right, so who's going to do our intro today? It was me. Yay, Eva. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, oh, shit. I should know what number we're up to, but I don't. Hang on a second. What? Are you pulling a Xylee? I think it's like 25 or 26. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the thing now where I started to lose count. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the last one was uh-huh. 24, so this is 25. Oh, my God, okay. 25. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, sweet. Hey, hello, and welcome to the broadcast episode 25. Uh, This is Eva. Hello. Um, And with us today, we have Miss Xylee Star. Hello. And some bunny loves you. Hello. And little Miss Rennie. Hello. Hi. Hi. I didn't do any alliterations today. Are you sad? <laughs> <laughs> I was a little sad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe we can make something up or I don't know. I'll put something in the edit or something. I just felt like I was like, oh, I've just woken up and I have, and my brain's not working very well. And <laughs> Not, uh... <laughs> not going to lie, I felt the disappointment coming from Rennie when you didn't I know. do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rennie loves no. those. Uh... <laughs> so, Josh, should I start again? No, 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 no we're good. No, you're good. <laughs> okay well how is everybody anyway good um mm-hmm. no. I, no i'm sick yeah i feel I like we're all yeah. sick <laughs> for real i'm getting better so <laughs> there is a silver lining y'all you will get better mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> how do you feel after your pasta oh my lord i don't even want to talk about pasta for like a year i ate so <laughs> much pasta last night it's not even funny like i was like i just want the taste in my mouth so i just kept eating more and then after, like, 30 minutes of eating nothing but pasta, I was regretting every decision I'd ever made in my life. <laughs> so <sighs> what kind of pasta was it, though? Oh, it was a good white wine, Parmesan cream sauce with oh. blackened chicken. Oh, it was Ooh, so good. That sounds ma'am, delicious. That does sound <laughs> delicious. Oh, my God. Yeah, Coder can cook. Like, he cooks up a storm. Good one, Kuda. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're, everybody's going to Bunny's house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say that all the time. I wish I had, like, friends in real life. Like, I don't hang out with anybody in real life. Well, I go to them, but, like, they're not friends that I would invite to my house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I wish I had good friends invite my house so I could make them dinner. Aww. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, so we have a variety of subjects that I really don't know much about. So, hmm. um, okay, this first one, something about Ghost Adventure. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, who who actually used to watch Ghost Adventures here or still does? Is anyone here interested? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. missed it. I don't know anything about this. I don't either. I'm with Bunny. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, back in the day, I'm I'm saying like like I don't know five ten years ago even. Mm-hmm. Um, the, there was a show um, called Ghost Adventures with uh, Zach Bagan was one of the, the main hosts and Nick Groff um, was like mm-hmm. a, a secondary. Like They both created Ghost Adventures um, and basically it's a, a paranormal investigation show. Um, they go to like old haunted houses and um, prisons and museums and all that sort of stuff and do like investigations with EVPs and... Um, uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's it's really just it's it's it used to be really really cool, right? Um, and then at one point, 
um, like a few seasons in, that Nick Groff just wasn't there anymore, and it became mm -hmm. really over the top. Like um, Zach Bagan started like um, like reacting in ways like he was being possessed, and it was all yeah. like really it was it was it was really distasteful, and mm -hmm. he basically would like play up the reactions like you'll hear like a little like tap or something like whoa 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 and it's just like you guys what just calm down and like you know it, it was it was just over the top and people just sort of then turned off by it and sort of like tuned out a bit like you know um but there was really no kind of explanation of what happened to nick so nick went off and did like his own couple of shows he did um uh, like a, they're all still paranormal investigation stuff because that's what he mm. was really good at. Um, and now he's um, doing stuff with his wife, um, who is a medium, which is really cool. So oh, they actually cool. go and do all that stuff together. And like, I, I've literally like started binge watching them as soon as I found out they were doing that um, for the last couple of nights. And mm -hmm. uh, it's it's amazing. It's really good. And this is what the old Ghost Adventures used to be like. Like there was no show, there was no bits and pieces, like fancy like editing and like sound effects and all that sort of stuff. Like it's just pure raw footage and their honest reactions and debunking stuff as they go. So um, hmm. this um, came out a couple of days ago um, with uh, Nick Groff and it's basically just Nick explaining what happened to him on Ghost Adventures. Um, so he's just responding to a bunch of fan questions and um, basically laying down exactly what happened because they're like nobody really knew like we all like, people thought they got fired or there was some like um, issues um, with him that was personal and they kicked it from the team and stuff like that but um, yeah well this it really explains it and it's really eye-opening so oh all right well i'm gonna press yeah. play okay let's get into this i got all your questions i sorted through them let me start off by saying this i never had an nda i was not fired from ghost adventures i never did quote a bad thing i never cheated in a relationship that i was in i was misled with the ongoing of paranormal lockdown I kept my head up for nine years. I pushed forward. I kept trying to move on, creating new hit shows. But the previous hosts that I used to work with keep trying to stop my career. So this That's is Zach. my story. This is from my perspective. And now I have to talk about it. Okay, Rachel asked, oh, damn. this may be controversial, I know. But what was it like working on the GA team after the documentary and fame hit? Just wondering if rumors are true about you know whose ego from experience. I questioned him once about how he treats his team and was blocked instantly. In my opinion, this rumor is true. I witnessed it firsthand and I saw him treat people just as poorly. This host was terrible to work with. It was an extremely hostile environment to work in. And also Dakota can speak on his experience with him too. All right. This okay. So is that the guy that who 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 is he talking about? Yep. So Zach Bagan, who was um one of the main hosts of um Ghost Adventures. So you can tell that he kind of started getting an inflated ego and there was rumors going around about how he treated everyone really badly, um, including oh. like team members and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like it literally the, the fame of the show got to his head and he thought he was a rock star basically. Yeah. Oh. Every, everyone calls him Macho. Oh, okay. All right. Um, this is from Glenda from Texas. Aaron has already explained why you were fired. You went behind Zach's back, started a new show without discussing anything with him. Trying to destroy him at this late date will do you no good, except she spelled no wrong. I did not get fired. That is false. I did not go behind anyone's back. My contract allowed me to produce other shows, just like the other host who I was working with, who produced several other shows. This is simply jealousy. Nothing to do with legalities. Oh. There were multiple questions mm -hmm. regarding whether or not you believe that you have been limited or blocked from appearing on Travel Channel. In my opinion, I do believe I was blocked from the network and continuing my shows specifically because of one host who I used to work with. And the reason I know this is because several executives I spoke to at the network said, I can't come to that network as long as he's there. And also, years later, speaking to Dakota, who finally spoke out about it and confirmed it for me, that yes, when he was filming with this one host at a location, 
This host came into the room bragging, laughing, saying, ha ha ha, Nick's never going to work in America again because I gave the network an ultimatum to choose him or me. So now having that confirmation, this is the reason I'm speaking out today about it because finally someone has the guts to talk about it publicly. Oh my God. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, so he mm. went into that network and was just like, it's either me or him. And like really like put that foot down on who are they going to choose. So obviously the network was, you know, hands tied or whatever. was just like, well, okay, well, we're going with the more popular show. Like, so, yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Are that rude? You know, yeah. networks do stuff like that all the time where if just one big actor that's on their network doesn't like someone else, they'll just completely drop the other person. Yeah. Like, that's what yeah. happened to um, Sam Hyde on Adult Swim. Tim Heidegger didn't want him there. And then next thing you know, their show's gone. Oh, damn. Hirschmeyer one says, I'm sorry, this was like 10 years ago. Move on with your life. Stay out of the drama. It's not drama when it directly impacts my life, my career, and my family. I wouldn't have to get involved in this conversation if this individual didn't continue interfering with my life. There's a ton of questions wanting to know exactly why you left Ghost Adventures. In my opinion, based on what I was told, a certain individual that I worked with called up the network and said he would not show up at the next location if I showed up. I was dragged along for two months and I kept being told, we don't need you at this next location. Then another week would go by, we don't need you at that location. Got to the point where I was dragged along for so long that my lawyer finally stepped in. He gave me a choice. I could either move on and make something better, create something new, or just be a sitting duck and just wait. So I chose to move on and create Paranormal Lockdown. Okay, so this brings me to a bunch of other questions. Oh that have to do with Paranormal Lockdown. People want to know what happened to Paranormal Lockdown. Many of them are saying it was my favorite paranormal show of all time. Paranormal Lockdown became one of the highest rated shows for the network at the time. And yes, it is true that a merger was occurring and we we're kind of on hiatus still filming. But then I was told by the network executives that we would continue Paranormal Lockdown into 20 episodes and keep going after it. But then suddenly radio silence. We had to get on the phone, talk to the network, and try to figure out what is going on because this is what I was being promised. And this brings me back around to what Dakota witnessed about a certain individual, a host who walked into the room bragging and talking about how he stopped Paranormal Lockdown. I believe I know what happened to my show, Paranormal Lockdown, but what do you guys think? Wow, he got yeah. iced out. Yeah. 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 Oh. A lot of people have sent screenshots or even tagged us in the original tweets that Zach posted years ago. And it goes like this. Zach says, anyone out there who gets fired from a job for doing bad things can't use said job as a resume of achievements, total deception. He goes on to say, please for one time in your life, do something 100% original. And then continues to say, disgusted to see someone using our show name, Ghost Adventures, to keep promoting shows and himself that we want absolutely nothing to do with. Here's proof that he's putting out statements about me talking about how I did, quote, bad things. Multiple people in the industry reached out to me and stated Zach called them and told them not to work with me. After speaking with Dakota, I learned that these patterns have not stopped. I believe that these rumors were used to try to hinder my career. And as far as him going on and saying, I use Ghost Adventures for my resume, yes, it is part of my resume. I helped create the title Ghost Adventures. I edited it. I was a co-creator. I was in it for 10 seasons. I have every right to use Ghost Adventures on my resume. Well, yeah. Bottom line, these are false statements <laughs> and his way of trying to ruin my reputation. I mean, yeah, if he was on there that long, he absolutely can use it on his resume. What? Yeah, he's absolutely. Yeah, and and to just give some context there, Dakota is like one of the the like, is like the one of the youngest paranormal investigators um, mm. to be on a show. So like he actually started like uh, uh, when he was really young, and then like he got like he won a um, a, a Ghost Adventures mashup competition as an eighteen year old, and then he got invited to be working on um, location with them after that. Oh my yeah. God. Okay. Nikita yeah. asked, are you way happier now getting to investigate your way and have full control of what you're producing? 
as you're seeing now, people in the industry are talking how difficult it is to move away from a network that's fully producing their project. I took matters into my own hands, gained full control over my project, Deathwalker, so this would not happen again. To answer your question, I'm way happier now. I have full control of my projects. I'm away from toxic people. There's no restraints. And I'm able to pursue my passion of real paranormal investigations with credible evidence. What about the allegations in the media regarding you cheating? These allegations are completely false. I have never cheated. I have never had an affair. In my opinion, these rumors and allegations were put out into the media purposely by a very hateful and jealous woman. Chris says, how's the baby doing? I hope you all are happy and healthy. I couldn't be happier. The baby is doing fantastic. All of his brothers and sisters are doing great. They all love each other. Tessa and I are extremely happy with our life right now, and we're growing together. We're working on new projects, and we're pursuing our passion. I could go on and on about why I have zero respect for these certain people that I worked with in the past. I have never allowed anything to stand in my way. Tessa and I will not allow anything negative to stand in our way with everything that we have coming up. I'm putting all these rumors to rest because again, we're moving forward. Tessa and I have been doing this since we were little kids, and we look forward to continuing to bring you real paranormal content. Well, damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, good for him for, I mean, standing up for himself. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah. it's, it's just sad that it's taken this long for um, any sort of confirmation of anything, because this guy has been screwed around with non-stop even when he was on the show um mm -hmm. it's like I, I feel like that zach was obviously threatened by him about his talent about what he can do and um yeah just literally just try to blackball him from everything it was that it was doing so um, sad. yeah mm -hmm. it, re it really is and you can really tell what like a you know, a spiteful person that Zach Bagan actually is. So, um, yeah. and yeah, just, just knowing like, cause I've, um, I watched Pub Paranormal Lockdown when that was out and that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then I just stopped and that explains a lot about that as well. Um, mm -hmm. and now he's got like, he's got a YouTube channel as well with his wife, Tessa, um, and they like literally just do paranormal um stuff on there too but i'm unable to find anything else that is in um basically because i'm in australia and no one can get <laughs> anything Aww. that's like and it's really sad so i have to try and find like torrents or like you know youtube clips and stuff so i can get the gist of things but i'm i'm so happy that he does um he is doing his death walker show and it's the way that he wants to do it and there's um absolutely no interference from anybody else from that so yeah, mm -hmm. well, yeah. so do y'all believe in ghosts uh, yes i do yes yeah mm. yeah like i i'm not quite i think i have told this story before about um uh, a, a woman saying hello in my ear Ooh. um it was huh. like in my left ear when we were watching a TV show and um, a doorbell went on the TV show and then all of a sudden in my left ear there was a woman saying hello and I was like freaked out because it was like just one ear and it was like really to the side and I'm kind of like, oh. Oh, can, you, can you like rewind that back? I just want to check something and the doorbell went again and nothing happened. Yeah. So I, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that was like one experience that's going to stay with me forever. But also like mm -hmm. when my dog passed away, I, I'd always have um, little peripheral black little um, shadows, I guess, in doorways. Um, so I, it, was, it felt like that like my dog was just there in the doorway and then I'd look around properly and it was gone. So yeah. it's like I have that sort of thing happening. But, um, oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, yeah, I find it interesting. I am a skeptic, mm. though, I, I, like, in a way, because I always try to figure out whether it was something else. Like, is, it, is, the, yeah. is there a window open or, like, it, are my eyes just playing up on me, all that sort of stuff. But I really enjoy these sort of shows because, like, yeah. especially like, the medium side of it where they start connecting with people and, like, telling people um, about, like, something that only the other person would know. And they get freaked out about it because like no one else would know that like there was something like um 
uh, for example, Tessa did a, a medium thing um, on someone in a pub and they were saying like, oh, did your dad go um, golfing recently? And was like, yeah, yeah, he, he did. It's the first time he did it um, before um, his son passed away. And it's like, yeah, well, your son just wanted to let him know that he was there with him playing golf. And oh, that's <laughs> freaky. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just hmm. little moments like that and like, you know, saying that, you know, they're – you know they're okay and they're with people that they know and to like you know don't blame yourself and all that stuff it just brings closure to people and yeah i find that really really sweet it's really cool yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know for me i'm a skeptic but like when i was really little like being in like ghost adventures and being into like ghost hunters and stuff like I have my own little ghost hunting kit yeah, <laughs> so I, yeah. I would, you know I would go around and you know see if they're real but like nowadays it's like I like to just take my camera and go to like these like supposedly haunted places and just like take pictures of like the urban uh decay and stuff because I think it's really dope so yeah yeah, yeah you might catch something one day yeah maybe <laughs> yeah. oh my god y'all crazy <laughs> Yeah. What about you, Bunny? Do you believe in them? Uh, uh, well, okay. I have done a great deal of like trying to sell my soul or summon demons just for fun, like you <laughs> know. And like I've never seen anything. I've never heard anything. And I'm like, well, die gum. Like I'm right here. <laughs> Come get me. I want to see. Like what's up? Like I'm a very curious person, and for some reason, the devil don't want nothing to do with my soul. So I don't know. You know what? Uh, I guess just because I've never experienced anything, I'm just like, eh, I think I believe more like it's a layered dimension or something. Like, yeah, and yeah. it's just like a tear in the dimension for a second. Like, I, I don't know. Girl, the devil <laughs> don't want you because the devil knows you go down there, you're taking over, and he's losing his job. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> go back. That's what that is. Okay. <laughs> the second thing um, we have is. Um, Pop Crave put this out. Uh, Travis Barker says he likes the name Rocky 13 for his son with Kourtney Kardashian. That's oh the name that's just been gone through my head lately. It is bad. Rocky George play, played guitar for Suicidal Tendencies. And 13 is just the greatest number of all time. Bro. Uh. <laughs> Rocky. Okay, Rocky. I don't have a problem with Rocky. Yeah. Why are you going to give your child a number? Why? I love it. Do it. It's so stupid. Do it. I mean, maybe Name a purple like, and a half. Maybe if it was like spelled out. Yeah, I was thinking spelled out might have been a little bit better, but just the numbers is a bit weird. <laughs> okay. If they do, if they spell out 13, I'll accept it. Mm. Oh, like I was saying, I have a friend, or I had a friend that um, she named her son Frankenstein. I saw you tweet that out. I was like, oh, no, that is, or either that or you put it in the Discord. You put it somewhere. Yeah, I put it in the Discord. That is his legal name. It's Frankenstein Emo. E M O. Oh. And um, oh, but she's in prison now for um for drug trafficking and spraying Lysol in her boyfriend's face. So Um oh. I'm not surprised with that name. Not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> She's just that kind of gal. <laughs> she, it's just her. It's just her. I, I, I have friends as well that have named their kids some random stuff, like um, uh, Valiant after the car is the first name, mm -hmm. and huh. the middle middle name is get this, Danger. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's kind of a badass name. That that's a strong name. Yeah, Valiant Danger is then. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, imagine yeah. that guy coming at you. My Yeah, uh... and, that, and that's when he can say Danger is my middle name, you know? Like... True. True. <laughs> that's my so good. There are nine siblings. Uh my so my husband has eight siblings, right? And every single one of them, except for two, has a name of either old country singers or old country songs. Oh, Aww. hell yeah. Like Waylon? Swear to God. Every single <laughs> one of them. Or, and if it's not their first name, it's going to be their middle name. It is absolutely oh. amazing. Yeah. I love it. Like, um... One of my siblings, like, all of her kids all have, like, L's as their first names. Oh, so they're doing a Kardashian type of thing, then. 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I love that. All right. <laughs> so the next one after that, which I I spoke about Ariana Grande earlier this week, okay? We yeah. are not surprised by this. Ariana <laughs> Grande is dating Wicked co-star Ethan Slater. That it's boy is like... wicked ugly. Why well, do look like that though? <laughs> Like, compared to the last year? Why? Why? <laughs> I mean, like, look. I'm, look. look, I'm sure he's nice, but he kind of looked like a frog. Like, yeah. aren't they both, like, still in a relationship as well? Like, they're still technically married or separated or something like that. And so that's real freaking quick of them to, to call everything off and get together, isn't it? Like, well, you know what? Maybe her and her husband called it off months ago and we're just now finding out about it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so like obviously something romanced on the set, and then that that's just put them together that way. So maybe oh. so, girl. I'm not surprised. Like I said, it's Ariana Grande. She licked a donut in a shop. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Oh. Um. All right, Lena Lena Del Rey spotted working at a Waffle House in Alabama. <laughs> This is some people news, like <laughs> this literally yeah. is people news. Okay, ding, hold on. Ding 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 ding. Oh my god! <laughs> oh look at this guy! Oh god, Charlie, don't film him without permission. What is Bubba? Is that really her? Yeah. Is she doing it as a joke? Mm -hmm. Yeah, her name tag says Lana. I zoomed yeah. in on it. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. We gotta click this. I gotta click it. I gotta click it. No, it's yeah. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. Okay, girl. Hey, well, all right. But I'm, like, is it a? See, it, that's is, what is I want to like know. Episode. <laughs> yeah, because she's not. She's got to be doing something. Well, she has been going around a lot recently, doing like a bunch of like um, meet and greets and um, showing up and giving fans the signatures and whatever and. So, like, I don't know whether it's more of, like, a publicity thing, um, just getting, like, people, like, getting their eyes back on her again. Um, I think that's what it is, really, but... Oh, okay. Well, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Yeah. Come on. It's gotta yeah. be. All right. She's gonna come out with her OnlyFans soon. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I promise you we are not going to listen to this whole whole thing, all right? Let me, let me yeah. do my volume booster for this shit. Cause she Thank won't... God. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, we're not listening to the whole thing, all right? Because you only need maybe like 10 seconds to figure out how bad this is. All right? Yeah. It's so horrible. My all favorite right. actual female misogynist, okay, Miss Pearly Fangs, decided she's going to have a rap career. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing I could do, I, it, it's so bad, I couldn't even put her down. The only thing I could do was tweeted out and go, oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can do. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for these rhymes? Are you ready to hear these rhymes? Let's uh, hear those bars, yeah. All right. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praise be to God. I go to the woods, look up like, dear God, Help me my way. The infrastructure is falling today. And it's not by a little, it's by a lot. The margin, it's about to drop. I'm a plain Jane, that's what they say. I say deport the feminist. That's what? all we need. That's what? all we need. That's all. Oh. That's so friggin' bad. Oh my god. My ears are bleeding. For somebody that I just keep thinking like she can't keep rhythm at all. Like imagine her in bed. I'm sorry. Oh, you know, she's jitter around like a damn jitterbug. Now Bunny, she listen to this. Stuck. I'm sorry. Listen. Do you know how she started her career on YouTube? Oh. She used to do reactions to rap music, literally in the title being "Whitest Girl in the World Reacts to Said Whatever Song." Oh, oh my god, that's god. the funniest thing I've ever heard. I need to see this. I need to. I'm, I know what I'm doing tonight. Oh she my god. literally, <laughs> she literally would react to rap song going "Whitest Girl in Whitest Girl in the World Reacts," literally. 
Wow. Yeah, she's so wild. She's got no rhythm whatsoever. Not Even like with her little mm-hmm. like what was it? Like, you know, that little um thing she did with her hand, like like a um like Yeah, a, what was she doing a, there? I, I, I was like, what? that's like a what cowgirl happened? thing. What are you <laughs> Listen, she's like white white. She's like super yeah. white. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so I had I oh God, that was so funny. When I saw um Eva put that in, I said, Oh yeah, my time to shine. All right. Yeah, so that's a part four as well. I mean, there's yeah. three more before. Oh, my God. I didn't even oh, notice. No. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who is fil- who's letting her continue? <laughs> her team. Her team. God, you know they're laughing their asses off behind her back. They like, got oh, my to be. God. They got yes. to be. Yes. All right. So, no, we, the- we, oh. Go I was going to say, like, we should actually do, like, a diss track or something like that. We'll show that up. Like, screw that. Like, <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, Let's my gosh. It, I've like... never been more on board with something. Let's go. <laughs> Are y'all really talking about doing a diss track? Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's do it. We'll figure it out. Oh Who's my... pissed us off? We'll find one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find somebody. Or a group of somebody. A group of dudes. Yeah. yeah. A Just group yeah. of somebody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a group of dudes would be perfect. Mm-hmm. I wonder who that would be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I've hated NSYNC for the longest time. I'm glad somebody finally said something. Yes, God. we're going to go after NSYNC. <laughs> period, point blank, period. <laughs> okay. Um, here we have a YouTube star, Annabelle Ham, which I don't know who she is, um, dead at 22. Jesus, so young. That's, she's, she was a baby. Yeah. Ew, no. Okay. Um, okay, oh, 5,000 ads. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, Atlanta YouTube star Annabelle Ham died after epileptic event following her bachelorette party? No! Oh, that is so sad. No! Oh my god! The Atlanta native was attending a bachelorette party when she was reported missing in Fairhope, Alabama, and Saturday Daily Mail has... Okay, so it was a bachelorette party. It wasn't hers. Hold on. Oh, oh okay. okay. Okay, all right. Oh, it's still sad. I mean, no, it's still sad that she passed <laughs> yeah, away, but I just thought it was that extra added, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're writing this with heavy, heavy hearts. Annabelle experienced an epileptic event and has gone to the gates of heaven, her family wrote on Monday. She struggled with this for a long time and wanted to raise awareness, awareness for it, which we will do in honor of her. The blogger's older sister, Alexandria, had previously said on Facebook that Annabelle was last seen lo- walking along a pier. Oh, that's so Damn. sad. Oh, that is sad. Oh, she was a pretty Aww. girl, too. She's so yeah. pretty. Yeah. Damn, she was so pretty. Aw. Um, and that's the police, uh, the Fairhope police didn't issue a statement about the search saying they responded to a call at 3.32 p.m. regarding a missing person who was later found deceased. They have ruled out foul play. And they obviously found out it was because of her epilepsy or an epileptic. Damn. Dude, she was only 22. Look how pretty she was. Yeah. Oh, that's such a, yeah, that's such a shame. Bless her heart. Uh, Annabelle often blogged about her daily life as a college student and gave makeup and beauty advice. Uh, fans have been honoring her in the comment sections of her social media since the tragic news emerged. Rest in peace to the most caring, beautiful soul. You're in a better place. Read one comment under her last Instagram post uploaded July 9th from Savannah. Damn, that's sad. That's sad. Too young. Way too young. Damn. And that's just going through the comments. That's yeah. sad. That's sad. Aw. That is so sad. She looked yeah. like she was so close with her family, too. I know. Cool. I yeah. love... This is, like, my favorite picture right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's key. Yeah. That's her... I believe that's her and her sister. Uh, I've seen it before. Yeah, I think that's her sister with her. Damn. Aww. Well, I, Rest in peace, baby girl, because 22 yeah. is way too young. Absolutely. Yeah. Way too young. Okay. Um, 
Uh, Italian judges give lower sentence to murderer of OnlyFans creator, calling her uninhibited. What? Yeah. What? That's disgusting. What, so they're blaming her for... Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. they basically said since she was an OnlyFans creator, her life was less valuable than other people, so give him a lesser sentence. Yeah. That is so gross. Was that, yep. was that, was that, like, judge and everything obviously male? Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, right there is a statement. I think it's, like, translated, so it's kind of hard to read a little bit. Or maybe I'm just stupid when I read it the first time. It's okay, hard. I wanted to pull that back up. Y'all really need to read the judge's justification written in insane psycho, psycho language you find in incel nofap subreddits. Oh. It is crazy. In florid language, strikingly like that found in subreddits for incels, the court of uh, Assises of Busto Arizio judges mused about how the idea of losing stable contact with her, whom he, by his own admission and according to his witness friend, loved madly and on whom he substantially depended since she had allowed him to overcome the solitude in which he was consumed previously, allowing him to finally live in a way that was different and gratifying way. What is this saying? I'm sorry. I know it's, it's really hard. I think it's saying that he, the guy that killed her was actually like in love with her and stuff. But since she was a whore, it, it put a damper on the relationship. Cause that's what in the article, it pretty much said that, they were he lived next door to her and they were making content together and he thought it was more than what it was and when she i think declined his advances he like snapped and killed her and like dismembered her and stuff it wasn't like he oh just like God. crashed and killed her yeah, yeah he like i think stabbed her a bunch of times and dismembered her so I, it was like really gruesome and she... he got a lesser sentence oh my that God. is so gross and where is this? This is is this Italy or something? I'm yeah, in Italy. Uh, yeah. So, oh my okay, God. so Charlotte Angie, a 26 year old single mom who became an OnlyFans creator to support herself during the pandemic, was bludgeoned to death and chopped into pieces by her neighbor and oh. content partner. Italian yeah. judges justified a lower sentence because she was uninhibited. That's so heartbreaking. That is gross. That's. That is actually insane. Got a lesser sentence. I don't understand. Like, oh, yeah, man. especially with how gruesome it was. I mean, it wasn't like yeah. it was just some kind of passion killing, and he just like, oh, oops, I stabbed her like once or twice. Like, I mean, that's horrible too. But my God, he mm. went all the way to chop her up. Like, yeah. oh my and God, a single mum as well. So what happens to a kid? Like, it's just, oh my. God. Like, oh, yeah. there's, there's no thought in that. It was so selfish of him to do that. Like, it's that's gross. And the fact that it's got a lesser sentence, I can't believe it. Yeah. Yep. Ugh. Ugh. That's you gross. So sad. Uh, okay. So, I guess we're going to go on to happy news. Okay. So, we're going to end this on a happy on a happy thing, right. okay? Thank I God, can't. because I... Yeah. Mm, mm, thank God we Sorry put the... Sorry for the last one. <laughs> well, it's okay, it's okay. Murder, death, kill in the middle. We'll do that in the middle. We'll start out kind of happy. We'll end happy. And, you know, we gotta... Yeah. We're reporting the news, <laughs> damn it. We're reporting the news, okay? Um, okay. Look, this NPC shit is getting out of hand. Right. Yeah. I love it. it I, I'm loving it even more. Like, the crazier it's getting, I'm like, I... I love this. It's so insane. Bunny, you should have heard Ruin Leon last night on my stream <laughs> doing it. Oh, no. I missed it. It was so good. It freaked me out. He was like, and hi, and welcome to Xyle Gets Real. And the way he was doing it, I was like, oh my. He should do it. He has such a good soothing voice anyway. Like, he would probably make more money than these people that just sound stupid doing it. Like, he's yeah. got an actual soothing voice that's like, come to listen to his voice. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> Very true. And he also, you know what, you know what other kind of voice he has that's good, too? A T-channel voice. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> Hell, he has an amazing T-channel voice. 
I told him, I said, I can write scripts for you and you can uh, do the T news. He goes, yeah, but you'll expect me to pay you. I'm like, damn right, I'll expect you to pay me. What? <laughs> of course. I'm not doing this shit for free. You kidding? Absolutely. Yeah, especially with that voice, he'll end up blow. I think he has a very soothing voice. Like, I think he he would blow up doing that just for the voice. He probably mm -hmm. would. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, so. Okay, so <laughs> what happened to Shame? His mom came in. <laughs> This guy was doing it. His mom came in with his dad on the phone. Okay. All right. We got to watch this one. Talk to your daddy, y'all. Let him talk to his dad, please. Please. Hey. What, what, what Thank you for the glitches. Listen, your daddy is talking. What's good, Pops? Hey, what's going on, dude? Thank you for the glitches. No, no, no. Y'all, please just stop. Just stop because for the we trying right. to get him some help. Please just don't don't keep entertaining. Thank you for the glizzies. Don't entertain this madness. We trying to truly help <laughs> our son. Yeah. Thank you for the cap off. No, listen to us. He's talking to you, Tish. Quadruple glizzy. Is he high or what's wrong with him? Tell him. Tell you that. Thank you for the galaxy. Oh my gosh. Woo! Woo, ride it like a cowboy. Ride it like a cowboy. Uh-uh. Oh my God. I, I'm going to start calling names for real. Thank you for the glizzies. Aisha T. Y'all, <laughs> please just stop. Don't do this. Don't do this. We're trying to have a family intervention. Please. Mm, thank you for the roses. No, please. Oh my God. Don't. Thank you for the heart. Stop it. Oh my God. I can't. I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. I love the disappointment. I love the excitement. I'm, it's all of it. It's just we're perfect. Trying to get, we're trying to get him help. <laughs> yeah. And then hear his dad going, is he high? What's up with him? Like... <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. Uh, it's just... keep... <laughs> oh, keep going, she started it's... started calling people out in the audience. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Uh-uh. All these people, please stop. Thanks for the ice cream. Don't entertain this. He don't need this. He don't need it. He, so he got a Thank job. You he got a job. I work. I got a job. His daddy works. He don't have <laughs> to do this type of stuff. Tish. Thanks for the lightning. What are you doing Ooh. to do this? What is Thanks that? Thanks for the roses. Gummy. Oh, TikTok. Are you still there? You still there? You still there? I'm trying to see if your dad's still on the line. Thanks for the roses. Like... Hello? Ooh. Yeah, I'm still on. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen. Stop, stop. it. No. Great. Uh-uh. Thank you for the glizzies. He talking to you. Oh Thank you for the roses. He talking to Man, I'm chilling, Pops. No, no. He, that's not what he asking. You are not chilling. Thank you for the football. Sweaty and everything. Mm, tasty. Thank you for the roses. Okay. Okay. It's CJ from Grove Street. You're going to have to come down here. You're going to have to come over because... Thank you for the love. Uh-uh. <sighs> okay. Come on, you better break yourself, folks. Uh-uh. You not talk to me, and you will not talk to me. Thank like you for the donuts. This. You will not talk to me like oh. that. Do you hear me? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you gotta no. go get Thank her back. Thank you for the roses. You will not. I'll pick you up. Stay back. Thank you for the basketball. Ooh! Woo! Celebration. Mama was about to whoop his ass. Oh yeah, I, I wish she it. should have. I really wish she would. It's like she... <laughs> she was about to whoop his ass. I don't blame her. Mm -hmm. I don't blame her. Yeah. I don't oh, blame her a bit. He's doing good. You know what? She might be mad now, but she can be mad later in a new car. Okay, true. Yeah. <laughs> true. But then again, but well, well, wait a minute now. Then again, we are on social media. We would understand what he was like. If that was our son, we would understand what he was doing. Yes. Yeah, but if he mm. didn't have a clue and you yeah. saw that going on, you'd think he'd have a mental problem, like he had a breakdown. Exactly. You know, yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. So in all reality, I wouldn't have got mad with him because I would know what he was doing. I'd be like, go ahead, rack up. Okay, all right, you good. Do your thing. Yeah, I'll you do know. it with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, no. I it, it's, it, She's a normie. She doesn't know what's going on. So bless her heart. She probably thought he was going bum crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so my favorite one, Pinky Doll. How Pinky, uh, New York Times has put out an article how Pinky Doll mesmerized the internet with ice cream so good. Miss uh, <laughs> Sennon said she made between 2,000 and 3,000 per stream. Lord have mercy. Across oh all God. her social media accounts, which includes Instagram and OnlyFans, she puts out, uh, she puts that number at $7,000 per day. Uh, what I would kill you. for seven grand a day. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't she know what doing. to do with seven grand a day. 
Okay. She is seriously okay. doing the. I, in my opinion, she's doing like some of the most, like mind draining dom work I've ever seen. Like <laughs> this is financial domination at its finest. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. And yeah, yeah I'm like be, she's draining these dudes. And, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not mad at her for doing what she's doing. Hell yeah, she's not scamming nobody. She's not mm -hmm. um she's not selling promises of things that you know what I'm saying? She's not doing that. All she's doing is doing gang gang and popping popcorn on a damn the uh, flat iron. Yeah. 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 I'm not mad at her. I mean, it's not her fault they're they're paying her that money. She's not putting a gun to their head and making them reach for their wallets. Mm -mm. I ain't mad at her at all. You go Good. girl. I Get that bag. Hell yeah. I love her. I wouldn't know what, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't know what to do with 2000 a day. Yeah, that to me is insane. Like. <laughs> Eva. Yeah. Eva, we're going to come up with a plan. We need you to get okay. TikTok, okay? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I spoke to my boyfriend about this and he goes, if you do that, I'd leave you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to be honest with you, Eva, at, at two to seven grand a day um ma'am mm -hmm. we can get another boyfriend okay yeah. I, i'm gonna be I honest i'd be like i'll I, pay you to leave I, <laughs> I honestly i honestly don't think i'd be able to get that much per day like but like the opportunity to try like okay <laughs> all right okay it. wait we'll reach lower at one grand a day we can get another boyfriend it, it ain't yeah. no big deal i mean yeah. listen i respect nah. i respect mr eva Whoever you are out there in the world, I respect Mr. Eva, so don't come at me, Mr. Eva, okay? I'm just saying. You money. gotta let our girl spread her wings. Exactly. Though. Exactly. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, like, he, you're saying, like, there's kind of no price for dignity. I'm like, I don't know. Seven grand a day is a pretty good price for your dignity. Like, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> and, like, that's all you gotta do. I mean, like, I feel like it would be really, like, it would be draining to sit there and do that over and over and over oh, again. That's yeah. why I was saying, like, that's a really draining type of dom work she's doing, and it's so sneaky. Yeah. But, yeah. like, I feel like I could go for a good seven hours. <laughs> no, I, like, Bunny, you've got to. You're like, you've honestly got to do that. <laughs> like, like with the clown stuff and, like, just Bunny, just, just you would it. make a killing. Oh, yeah. my God. Mm -hmm. Bunny. I'm an old person when it comes to TikTok. Like, I... I have no idea what is even going on or how to do anything. I'm just like... There's, there's people in their 30s doing it. Like, there's nothing, like, you're not older than that, right? I'm in my 30s. Yeah, so why... So, what's wrong okay. with that? There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. It's yeah. just, I just look at it and I'm like, oh, there's too many gadgets. <laughs> there's too many <laughs> buttons. I'm yeah. overwhelmed and then I close it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty easy to use. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll have Rennie be my, my um, my Obi Wan or something. Teach yeah, there you go. Rennie, Rennie <laughs> will hook you up, teach you how to do it, and then you do your thing. Make sure you're in clown makeup. I'm your manager. Yep. You know, I'm Hell just yeah. making sure that you're all painted up. You know, and, and y'all, if I make it big right. on there, we're all making it big. Fuck yeah, yeah. we all <laughs> eat, baby. We yeah. all <laughs> eat, baby. That's how we do. That's how yep. we do. Hell yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, Okay, I cannot <laughs> express Ew. to y'all how much I do not like I show speed. Yeah, yeah. don't you want to give him a whooping? Like the whooping mm -hmm. he never got. I That's haven't fun. like yes. now. I know it was a bit that he did on Twitch long ago when he told that girl uh, when he asked that girl, "What would you do if it was just me and you left in the world?" And yeah. you know, and would you? And she was like, "No." And he goes, "What if you ain't got no choice or something like that?" I have not liked him yeah. ever since. I remember yeah. that now. I actually forgot about that until you brought that up. So yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have not liked him ever since. I mean, I understand like with his type of comedy and what he does. I understand people liking him. I'm not down in anybody who likes him. I, maybe I'm just too old for it. But I just, uh, I, I do not find I show, I show speed funny at all. Yeah, I, I don't just either. think it's just dumb. Like, you know, like two years in a row, he got the same Pokemon fireworks and lit it off in his bedroom. Like, didn't mm -hmm. he learn the first time? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. So apparently he's hit this NPC TikTok trend too. Of course he did. Which, I mean, makes sense. This will sense. be the one I hate. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. So yeah. it's only 48 seconds long. Let's watch it. Oh, her, her! Thank you for the roses. Happy birthday, cowboy. Mm -mm. Thank you for the heart. <laughs> cowboy. Thank you for the roses, man. Oh, he's saying the end was, uh... Okay. I love you, too. Thank you for the roses. I love you, humongous! Ha! Thank you for the cowboy. Oh, my God. I look cool. Oh, my God. Chicken, chicken! Her, her! My God, Chicken, chicken! Yeah. Her, her! <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody! Stop the cat! Ooh, dinosaur! Oh, her, her. No. oh my god! I, I, I cannot <laughs> even. That's all I'm gonna yeah, say. I, I've loved every single person I've seen doing this, but him. <laughs> I cannot even. I'm sorry. Um, nope, nope. I nope. think it's yeah. just his face, like his stupid grin on his face. I just yes. want to. Like, Smack it, you know what I mean? It's like, come on. Yes. Well, there's yeah, been a couple face. of them. There's been a couple of them. Um, like, the, there's this one dude that he dresses up in a Spider Man outfit and he actually oh, yeah. is outside doing it. I actually like his. I think his yeah. is awesome because he's, he's acting like he's Spider Man and he's like, yeah. Is there danger around? I'll be sure to tell my uncle you said hello or something like that. I mean, I love it. I think that one's like really cute. <laughs> I just don't, I just, I just have, I have a bias. I do not like ISO speed. I can't help it. Yeah, fair enough. There wasn't any like real shtick to it either. He was just saying stuff like, you know, whereas like, you know, the Superman one and like, mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the the chick with the popcorn and the straightener, like you know, it's this this yeah. like a, a bit to it. Yeah, where she's just sort of just going through the motions. You're like, ah, okay. I wouldn't sit there for you know twenty minutes or whatever watching him like I would the other ones. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly true. But I will say this: I'm not mad at anybody doing it. I mean, if people are willing to pay you to do that and you're making some good money off of it, I mean. Yeah. Listen, as long as you're not scamming people, as long as you're not promising people shit that they're not getting, as long as you're mm -hmm. not doing anything bad to coerce them into giving you the money, I don't have a problem with it. Because you're yeah. not making those people upload their credit card and use it. Exactly. The only mm -hmm. people that are mad are the people that wish they were doing it or the people that don't have the money to spend like that and they're mad right. that other people do. Right. And of right. course and of course when I say spending the money I mean grown ass adults. I don't mean kids yeah. using their you know, parents' credit cards or anything. I'm talking about the grown ass yeah. adults out there that are paying for this, that's on them. So I don't have a problem with people doing this. I don't. I really don't. Yeah. I'm not a hater like that. I mean, I'm a hater on a lot of different things, but I'm not a hater on making money. Especially in today's yeah. economy, hell no. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. That's why we got to get money on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make a broadcast TikTok, and then Bunny will be our ambassador, and she could be doing shit <laughs> like this, you know. Just saying. Just yeah. Hell yeah, let's yeah. make, like, a broadcast TikTok, and then, like, all of us just post stuff to it. I mean, we can if you want. I don't know. We'll talk about mm -hmm. that. It's not yeah. a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, a good it thing. Be fun. Yeah. I don't even have TikTok, so I don't even know how it works. I have TikTok on my on my computer, but I have no clue how it works at all. It looks mm -hmm. like I'm the TikTok teacher for the day. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Anything <laughs> else, ladies, that we want to talk about before we get out of here? Hmm. Mm. Is there any, like, any announcements or any, uh... I know with me, I am trying to get back on this streaming thing. I have been sick. Um, hopefully, I will be doing a stream tomorrow, which will be Friday. And then, yeah. yeah. No, I don't really have anything else going on. I mean... Oh, um, let's see. So, by the time this episode is uploaded, it would already be done, but K-Hawk is interviewing me at 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, on her channel. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah, she's Very going cool. through, she's going through all the broads. I see what she's doing. I see what Not she's doing. Not me yet. 
Not me yet, though. I haven't been asked. I think your I invitation's think, in the mail. I think your invitation yeah. is in the mail, honestly. Because <laughs> I really do think she's going going through all the broads. That's I cute. really do. I like yeah, I think that. it is. That's so she smart. had Dave on tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I want to talk about something real quick before we get out of here. Just a, just a mm-hmm. little, just a little, I don't know, just a little discussion. Mm-hmm. Oh. Did y'all see that Tommy C. Grimsey thing going on? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, what an idiot, honestly. Like, yeah. <laughs> like okay, Tommy was like actually trying to help him out, and the dude didn't even watch the video, and he made another video, like, cussing him out and telling him how old he is. Like, I just, like, if he spoke the way that he spoke on streams the way that he does in videos he would have gone okay you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but yeah there's so many times where he was almost crying didn't know what to say (laughs) like um and then like ended up being a little bitch about it and quitting like just like okay buddy see it's that it's that okay first of all one i would like to put in the stipulation okay he is Mm -hmm. 19 okay at 19 years old you're dumb Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Now, I hope he learns a lesson from this because you can't go through and be a keyboard warrior on your videos where you can edit and there's nobody like you're talking to or there's no chat because you're live and you act all badass in these videos as you put it literally internet bullying on your videos and then not go on a live stream and can't take it from somebody else. Yeah, like, quite literally, he is a 2016 Leafy is here clone, and he he doesn't even know the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, hope he just learned yeah. it. I hope he just learned it, honestly, because it, because of Tommy quote unquote bullying him. Oh, get off it! Get it sick got it got it got honestly it got people to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. It got people to talk about it. It got people to tweet and retweet about it to help him out. And it was because of Tommy and because of what Tommy said. And the next day, Tommy even said he understood why he was angry. Mm-hmm. Tommy yeah. said, I don't blame him for being angry. Tommy knew what he was doing. He even tried to tell him midstream in that stream uh-huh. <laughs> what he was doing. And the boy didn't want to listen. Yeah. Oh, my favorite part of when Tommy gets like that is when Matt goes to say something and Tommy says, shut up. And then Matt yeah, goes. Matt, <laughs> that was my favorite. I'm like, yeah, shut up, Matt. Yeah, shut up, Matt. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Tommy. Thank you for telling Matt to shut the <laughs> hell up. We love it. No, but I mean, honestly, I hope he, um, I hope Grimsy took it as a lesson that sometimes you got to play the game to get the attention, and that's what Tommy was doing. Because quite yeah. honestly, no, like a lot of people don't know you, you know, mm-hmm. and, and they're not going to be that concerned, especially if you've done like hit pieces on your on your channel, you know, on people and stuff. You know, mm-hmm. and Tommy took his time out to help you. And he got the guy to come up there and talk. Yeah. If I Tommy, think that's where he lost it. Yeah, and the sad thing <laughs> is, if the guy was super nice to Grimsy, if Tommy was super nice to Grimsy and kissing Grimsy's ass and going, oh, no, I'm so sorry, that dude probably would have never went up there. Yeah. But because yeah. he was fucking with Grimsy, that dude felt comfortable enough to go, okay, let me go talk to, let me go talk to Tommy. Yeah. You know? And the thing is, like, the audacity didn't even actually watch that VOD. I swear to God, didn't watch it because straight away he went and made another video and, like, basically was like, well, you're 45, he's 46. Or, like, you know, he kept basically bringing up his age. And then, like, didn't he, like, go off on Joey as well and tell him to go back to his own country? Yeah, I was he like, did. He's, he's <laughs> in his own country. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> Do you not understand how the internet works? Like, all, <laughs> all I'm going to say to Grimsley is this. You know what? You kept bringing up Tommy's age, which, by the way, you had it wrong by one year. He's 46 yeah. years old. All right? Mm-hmm. You kept bringing up his age. But you know what? That 46-year-old got what was happening to you out there where Nicholas DiOrio was tweeting it out. Augie is tweeting it out. Uh, a bunch of us tweeting and retweeting about it. And it was because of that 46-year-old man. 
And the next time you have an issue by the way you've been acting, (laughs) I'm not tweeting out shit. I can tell you that right now. Hell yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to be... And I'm never for somebody losing their channel. I even said that Andrew Tate shouldn't have lost this shit. Because Mm. if you're not on there, I can't fight you. So I don't believe in deplatforming unless certain things happen, you know, and breaking laws and shit. But... Yeah. Um... I'm not for deplatforming, but listen, if you're going to be an asshole and you can't understand what the fuck happened, then why would I be part of helping you? Yeah. So that's it on that shit. Anything else before we get out of here, before Eva does the uh, goodbyes? I got nothing in my head. All right, Eva, take us out then. All right, that is the end of the episode. Um, Thank you very much, everyone, for listening and watching. Um, We will be back on Monday night, uh, 10 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, And then also on the um, Wednesday as well at 6 p.m. Eastern for a live. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Damn Australian uh, shit. I know. It's been so hard because in my head I've got the time for like what time it is here. And then mm. every time I'm like, oh, what time is it in EST? It freaks me out every time. because your head's I, filled with all that metric system mumbo jumbo. Well, that's the only way you're meant to do it. <laughs> like literally the rest of the world is on the metric system. What the fuck are you guys on, honestly? Listen, you need to be it. listen, you need to be more America, okay? <laughs> yeah, America. <laughs> Any more America. Oh my god, no, I'm, I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye everybody. Bye. Hi. Oh, ice cream. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh <laughs> I have never been more disturbed in my life. <laughs>